The following is a tutorial for the Shotokan Kata Hean Nidan. While there are variations on the translation, for rank evaluations, make sure the student knows it means peaceful mind number two. The focus of this kata is so that the beginner student can demonstrate a basic knowledge of back stance and forward stance and show the distinguishing characteristics during the kata. Now let's take a look at some focus points of the kata. Step 8, the spear hand strike, should be completed with a strong ki from the abdomen and shoulders square to the front. In steps 1 and 3, the elbows should form a right angle at 90 degrees, as seen here in both photos. Kata should be performed with technique, speed, and strength, in that order respectively. It's important to maintain strong stances, but also to make sure all limbs are moving in the correct technical positions. Seen here is the proper chambering position for transitioning to step number five. The supporting hand should be in the hikite position, with the right hand on top making contact in the vertical position. Take a look at the second half of the kata, which involves some blocks using the opposite hand. The rotation of the hip can cause the front leg to shift backwards slightly. While there are many interpretations to the augmented block or morte uke, seen here is the correct hand and arm position for our rank evaluations. The last four moves of this kata are characterized by a forward stance with a low block and a rising block. However, the stance is facing at a 45 degree angle rather than directly to the left and right. The correct foot position can clearly be seen here. It's important not only that the stance is at a 45 degree angle, but the focus of the student is in line with the direction of movement. This tutorial is a supplemental guide for training at home and is not to be used as a replacement for training with a qualified instructor. Oh. Um.